I want to remember this forever. <laughs> this is the story of how we accidentally found ourselves in New Hampshire during peak foliage. Look, maybe like some of you watching, we'd never even heard of the Kinkamagus Highway until we started figuring out what we could do in New Hampshire. Turns out, this is like the creme de la creme of fall scenic drives. Nestled in the heart of the White Mountains, the Kinkamagus Highway is 34 and a half miles of unfiltered raw beauty. No gas stations, no drive through coffee stands, just you, the road, and a kaleidoscope of leaves that make you question reality. But let's get one thing straight. The Kank, as the locals call it, doesn't care about your plans. You can't control the weather, and sure as hell can control when the leaves decide to put on their annual show. It's a lesson in let it go and taking life as it comes, one breathtaking view at a time. Now we just rolled in from Maine where the fog already had us in a false state of mind, but nothing, absolutely nothing could prepare us for what we're about to experience here. And hey, it's not just about showing you where to stop on the highway. We're also diving into the charming town of Lincoln, checking out an amazing resort, and even getting our Oktoberfest on. Are you as intrigued as we were? Stick around. Welcome to the Kankamagas Highway. Okay guys, so we're gonna catch you up of what's happening right now. <laughs> so right now we're um, storm chasers. Yeah, pretty much. That's a good way to put it because we found out that where we're heading next, there is some rain predicted on the way. Now we're leaving Maine. The idea was today, we actually were gonna take pretty much the day off from filming, take our leisurely way from Maine to New Hampshire. But where we're gonna be three days. Yes, exactly. We're gonna be three days in New Hampshire, but because we know rain's on the way, today might be the only day that we have a little bit of sunshine so right now we are heading over there we woke up very very early we're already loving it and we're uh, not right there yet it. but anyway I'll let you focus routine because we got to hightail it to New Hampshire a five-hour drive somewhere else in the world can be painfully slow but in New England time flies and you actually want to be looking out the window it's like all those fall towns you see in the Hallmark movies actually exist, and your daydreams take you to a world where you live here. And this is the road we take to get to work at the county store. Before we knew it, we were turning on to the kink, unsure how anything could possibly beat whatever back roads we were just on. But it does. Oh my god, we're on it. This is, this is like a fall wonderland, seriously, this whole area, this whole freaking area of New England, but here specifically, yeah. <laughs> I love the road and I love the river next to it. You know, they say in filmmaking, you've got to give the audience a reason to stick around, a thesis if you will. Well, our thesis for this video is simple, to make you so captivated by what you're about to see that you immediately start planning your own trip here next fall. And if you're skeptical, this shot should help support that thesis. I could just cry. I could just cry right now. That, you have no idea how much this trip means to me. Like, it's been just a trip. I've always wanted to do it. And uh, I've always had this like vision of, uh, of like colors lining this entire road leaves falling, playing Taylor Swift in the background, and uh, it, you don't understand how hard it is to get the timing of this trip right. I was worried because a, a week ago the colors hadn't even changed, but uh, it worked. Everything worked. Wow, and uh, we haven't even gotten to the, the part I'm most excited for. <laughs> you're flying down this road and looking out the window like you're in a music video, or maybe like you're in a car advertisement, depending on your zodiac sign. What we forgot to tell you is that the Kang is located between two towns, Lincoln and Conway. You can start on either end, but we're starting on the Lincoln side. Now the whole reason we even heard about this highway was because we saw some drone photos of this specific spot a few months ago, and we knew we had to go here. This iconic hairpin turn is the Hancock Overlook. We arrived. <laughs> and it's even more beautiful than we imagined. Just wait till we see it from the sky, though. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> So we 
right, we're here in the famous Kang. That's how they call it, right? Yeah, the okay. Kang. The Kang. And that's the center of the White Mountains. That for me, they look a little bit more like gold or green. We're gonna start over here, that is the Hancock Overlook. Uh, and then we're gonna stop a couple of times all through the highway because there's beautiful spots that we already kind of look. So let's start this. Let's get into the car again. <laughs> down the road, we come across our next spot, Pemigewasset Overlook. Lots of fun names on this highway. And despite being so close to our last overlook, this place offered a completely different perspective, plus some fun red leaves to, I guess, get the creative juices flowing. Can you do like some stupid video? What should I do? Put it like if you were in Hawaii. <laughs> this looks so stupid. We decided to turn it into a pocket square. So if you see it this training, you just know I started it. Then it's on to another overlook where I get a chance to practice my colors in English. Like, it's incredible how many colors you can spot. You know, brown, orange, red, green, like, and then everything in between. Yeah, it's a so, rainbow of colors. And as you guys can tell, like the weather has been on and off, sunny and foggy, which is actually the perfect situation because it's like you get to experience this place two different sides. Same thing that happened to us in Bar Harbor. Now the spot we're at right now is called C.L. Graham Wangen Overlook. Much easier for us to say. Beautiful overlook of the other side of the mountains. Okay, thank you. This might take us a long time to do this like 30 mile drive if we keep stopping like this, but we got all of it. And we round out the Overlook mission with one last vista point. Sugar Hill Scenic Vista is a place I can do something that I've always wanted to do. Oh. Hey. All over the car. All over the car. I'm Captain Paul. <laughs> so if you're tired of lookup points, we're here already down the mountain, and we're working in this place that is Sabadaba. <laughs> I like that. Sabadaba Falls. Sabaday Falls. I have a friend that's uh, Saturday called Sabadaba oh. in Spanish. <laughs> this place is full of hikes. So if you're into hiking, this is your paradise. For us, this one is a short one, but after driving five hours is the least that we can do. <laughs> and there's a beautiful river over here. So we're gonna see if there's actually a waterfall over here. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let's figure it out. Hiking was the plan, but this spot was just too comfortable for Martine to pass up. You just need like a hammock or something. I can sleep over here. <laughs> you know what? Because you can hear very well the the river. Watch the trees. <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna look at every single one of them. <laughs> There's a group of ladies. Uh, one of them was was getting annoyed because the other one was taking photos every couple stops and <laughs> like you have the same photo a million times she's like i don't care i'm gonna look at every single one of them in that time. and i think that every group has someone like that i'll let you guys guess in the comments <laughs> which one of us is that person you know there was a time when seeing everyone point their phones at the same leaf or waterfall would really irk us we'd think why can't people just live in the moment but We've come to realize that with us filming these videos, that's rather hypocritical to judge someone's reason for taking a photo. And now we see it differently. These snapshots are like emotional reflexes, immediate reactions to something that sparks joy. They may never look at that photo again, but in that moment, they felt something worth capturing. There's something profoundly beautiful about that. This collective experience that we're all so moved by a place that we just want to freeze it in time, even if it's just on our phones. It makes us feel like we're all connected. 
We may speak different languages, do different jobs, but on the kank, we all just really, really like leaves changing colors. Only a couple spots left till we start adventuring more of the area. This is the Russell Colbert House. I'm so glad we're doing this trip. When Juliana first told me about this uh, idea to come into the uh, fa fall foliage trip, um, for me, it's, what's the big deal? It's only, you know, trees changing colors. Now I get it. It's so beautiful and it makes you go into this um, fall um, stage, you know? So I'm happy we're here. You only have so many fall times in your life, in your lifetime, and it's easy to just um, get lost, in, you know, in your job or in your everyday uh, routine that you let that uh, feeling pass by without like really embrace it. So this is a, a beautiful trip that we're gonna remember for years. But I stop being sentimental. This is our next spot so we can wash up those feelings. We are here at Rocky Gorge. I love over here because there's a lot of rocks and the river goes down. The sound is amazing. And Juliana told me that she smells like autumn, fall, <laughs> and all of her candles we have in her apartment. It's like they're all combined. <laughs> And uh, just past that, there's this pond. <laughs> you guys want to see something cool? And just like that, we arrived to our final stop on the highway, the Albany Covered Bridge. Believe it or not, this is our first encounter with a covered bridge, but these architectural gems are practically a rite of passage in New Hampshire and Vermont. This one was built in 1858, and many people don't realize that it's actually still totally operational to drive on. Maybe not the most efficient bridge to drive over, but definitely fun. <laughs> As we leave our last spot and you turn it back towards Lincoln, we realized we committed mistake number one of doing the kank, and that was not bringing some food with us. Remember, if you decide to do this drive, you need to fuel up and grab food before since there's absolutely nothing available here. So we drive into Lincoln, but it's that weird time of day where it's too late for lunch and too early for dinner, but there is one place that's perfect for our situation. One love, baby. <laughs> one love brewery has local German style beers on top and a killer food menu. Beer, cheese and pretzels, chicken fingers. Yep, this is exactly what we're looking for. Yep, I deserve that, I deserve that. But we don't spend too much time here, because to be honest, we are staying somewhere super cool. Sure, you could shack up in Lincoln with the rest of the leaf peepers, but if you're anything like us, you're craving something a bit more secluded. Enter the Mountain View Grand Resort and Spa. Nestled just 40 minutes from Lincoln, this place is a sanctuary where you can escape the crowds and wake up to jaw-dropping mountain vistas right from your bedroom window. Now, full disclosure, the resort invited us to stay for three nights to see if it gets the tourist local stamp of approval. Spoiler alert, it does, with flying autumnal colors. Why? Let's start with the history. This place has been welcoming guests since 1865, and it's so steeped in the past that it's on the National Register of Historic Places and a historic hotel of America. But don't let that fool you. They've nailed this uncanny blend of old world charm and modern luxury. When we checked in, we met this guy named Chuck. He told us he and his family have been coming here every year for decades. Yeah, it's that kind of place. A hidden gem with a cult following. We stayed in the Vista studio room, and let me tell you, the views of the White Mountains were nothing short of cinematic. The beds, heavenly. And for the first time maybe ever, we ditched our own toiletries for their signature lavender scented bath products. Now we understand why people leave with bags of the stuff from the spa on their way out. It's that good. 
But it's not just about looking pretty, this place is an autumnal playground. Imagine teeing off on a golf course enveloped by fall foliage or unwinding in a spa where your post-massage treat is a seasonal cider mimosa. Yeah, they thought of everything. And for the adventurous souls, they've got axe throwing, llama-led breakfast hikes, and hay rides that make you feel like you're a kid again. I was not expecting this place to be so tranquil in the middle of just mountains. Yeah. We have a lot of things that we want to do here, and it's kind of good that the weather might be bad tomorrow because this is a good place to be stuck. I know. They even have a farm yeah. that I really want to visit. Yeah, so there's farm. We have dinner reservations we have to actually run to right now. Yep. Hopefully s'mores at some point, but uh, what do you say we head to the dining room? Let's get out. The Harvest Tavern is the on-site restaurant, and it's not your normal hotel restaurant. The food here is amazing. I sank my teeth into a braised lamb shank that was so tender it practically melted in my mouth. And me? I went for the cider glazed pork chop, a dish that's like autumn on a plate, sweet, savory, and downright delicious. Now, you can't end a day like this without something special, so we hit up the gift shop for a s'mores kit. Why? Because we're on the street is, this place lights up a fire pit every evening. Imagine that, sitting under the stars, toasting marshmallows, and sucking in the crisp mountain air. It's the perfect nightcap to an already unforgettable day. Probably the best day of my life after our wedding day. <laughs> La maestra, she's a master of s'mores. Okay, like I want to remember this forever. <laughs> Hello travelers, good morning. It's amazing to wake up in a beautiful place like this one, so peaceful. It took me like 40 minutes to drink my coffee. I was just staring at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. But there's so many other things that we have to do today. First up, we're gonna meet with some friends. seeing this barn that is so cute I also want my own <laughs> we're talking about that it's time for breakfast I'm going to a little place called flapjacks we need a nice hearty meal to kick off today is not the type of place to go if you want to be in and out in 20 minutes, but the line outside is worth it for those looking to have a slower paced day in the White Mountains. Because on the other end of this line is you and a plate of blueberry pancakes and bottomless coffee. It's small town lumberjack breakfast done right. And the best part, they're known for their delicious whipped maple butter and fresh maple syrup, of course. Those are good. <laughs> <laughs> if you come over here, I recommend you to check the events that they are in the zone. Because for instance, right now during this weekend and this weekend alone, we found out that there's like a little Oktoberfest over here. We decided just to stop by to check it out. And you know me guys, I'm a beer guy, so probably I will have one. But we're gonna stay over here only for an hour. had it all. Overpriced Samuel Adams, whatever this is, it was cute. But Leavenworth Washington sets a much higher bar. I don't know if I'm crazy, but it looks like overnight I can see more colors. I was thinking the exact same thing. All it takes is just a couple of cold nights to bring out all the colors and That's I think right. we're seeing like peak foliage happen right before our eyes. It's amazing, it's so beautiful. And originally we wanted to do a hike but because it's raining, 
I don't know if it's safe. Exactly. The hike that we wanted to do is a super, super popular one called Artist Bluff. Mm -hmm. Has this amazing view of Echo Lake below, but it's like really slippery, steep, and rocky, and that's just not a good idea in this weather. Safety first. Yes. So instead, we decided to go to another place that we're going to show you guys. Yeah, it's called Crawford Notch. It's actually right near our hotel. I can never get tired of this drive. So uh, perfect rainy day activity, and we have a couple little stops. We got our umbrellas in back. So let's go. Yeah. So we're cracking up as we edit this. Not gonna lie. We thought we were gearing up for this epic grand finale, right? But let us tell you, when it rains in the White Mountains, it's not messing around. It pours. We tried to tough it out, hit a few more stops, but let's call it what it was, a total washout. Expensive camera gear, wind and rain. Yeah, they're not exactly BFFs, even if you have an umbrella. So we did something pretty out of character for us. We threw in the towel. Why make life harder, right? We hightailed it back to the resort and wouldn't you know it, clear skies. Go figure. Well, even though it wasn't the perfect day, this isn't a bad place to be stuck. I would say you're right. And we still have one more day left here in New Hampshire and one huge activity that we're saving for a whole other view for you guys next week. You're not going to want to miss it. It's the most magical train ride of our lives. If you still want to continue watch our adventures, we're going to leave you another video right here. Yeah, five states, six videos, the most epic road trip of our lives. So stay tuned for more. So long. Travel well. And make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.